using the web app before the start of FC25 can boost your start massively. And don't worry, if you don't want to spend hours trading, it's still worth watching this video. The web app is most likely to be released on the 18th of September, which gives you two full days to grind the web app. For the people who watch this video before the web app is released, make sure you stay till the end because there's a bonus tip there, which will make sure you don't run into any issues when you're waiting for it to be released. When you log on to the web app, you have to choose your starting players. You can choose a nation. It doesn't really matter because it's untradeable. You won't get big players. But I would suggest choosing for Brazil, Argentina, England or France. Because these untradeable players can help you along the way when you're going to make your first puzzle SPCs. After the players, you have to choose your home and away kit and your badge. Always go for the gold rares here because they are tradable. And it doesn't matter if you go for a big club or a smaller one as long as it's gold rare. We want to discard them as soon as possible possible because they quick sell for 485 coins each which will give you one and a half k right away from the start and that is huge to start with last year we did not get any welcome backpacks but maybe this year is different this is the second year of fc so who knows maybe we get some welcome backpacks this time but there are only three options either we don't get welcome backpacks we get untradeable welcome backpacks or we get welcome backpacks that are tradable with the first two the market won't change at all but if the welcome backpacks are tradable you will see the market could rise a lot because more people have coins more people will buy players or invest in players but it is ea and they continue to make everything untradeable so who knows so probably it will be untradeable if we get any once you're on the web app and you got yourself those 1500 coins from before make sure you open your preview pack right away because that way in case there's no value in it at all in 24 hours you can try it again which is still before the full release and if there would be something good inside let me tell you how you can make sure to get enough coins to buy it because once we're on the web app, we want to head over to objectives and there are milestones about trading, which will give us a total of 12,000 coins. The only thing you need to do to get those coins is buy and sell players. But we already got the almost 1,500 coins from quick selling the kits and the badge, so we can start buying. We want to buy players that are selling almost instantly, preferably as cheap as possible. Bronze rares or silver commons, especially from top nations, usually sell for 200 or 250 coins instantly the only thing you need to do is snipe them and then sell them for either the same price as you buy them for or for 50 coins more if you buy them for 200 coins and sell them for 200 coins you make a 10 coin loss on every trade for the objective you need to do this 250 times which would lose you two and a half thousand coins if you sell them for 250 coins instead you also make almost 10,000 coins profit on those trades alone but in my opinion it all depends on how fast can you sell them for profit and how fast can you sell them for 10 coin loss because you want it as quick as possible because time is money you by the way need to buy 50 and list 500 so i calculate with the 250 because you either do the 500 by continue trading for profit or you can relist some items and get the 500 that way by the way if you relist them do it manually not with the relist all button because then it doesn't count i understand that not everyone is quick and good at sniping but there are a lot of different filters you can search for this way you won't have as much competition as you would have have on the more popular ones so you can win the snipes more easily i'll be doing this live on stream so in case you're interested make sure you join me on twitch or on tiktok because i will be doing this both evenings before the ultimate edition release that way we could grind together and make it easy for ourselves after you completed objectives you got yourself somewhere between 13,000 and 27,000 coins if you also get a good preview pack make sure you buy that one sell the things that are valuable and quick sell the ones that are not valuable this way you can make sure you have as many coins as possible because the more coins people have the more expensive your players will be at this point we got two options either we continue trading and make some more coins or you're like nah let time do the work for me and i'll invest if you want to continue trading and the bronze or silver players that you've been sniping for the objective give you profit just continue because profit is profit it doesn't matter how you do it as long as the profit keeps going up if it's a little bit tough you can also try some other things for example the kits and batch that we quick sold some people don't know the value of that quick sell so what we can do is go into the market, search for a badge or a kit and try to snipe them below the quick sell price. That way, if we win the snipe, we can quick sell it for instant profit. We don't need to wait for it to sell and we can just continue. In case 
you don't want to trade anymore because you already bought 250 players, which could be quite intense, but you still want to make profit, it's time to invest. And there are two ways to invest, in my opinion. The first one is super short term, and the second one slightly longer. The first one is buying meta players that are somewhere between 5,000 and 20,000 coins, preferably Premier League or maybe even French, because they will continue to go up until just before the Ultimate Edition release. Once that is out, there's more supply than demand, so you want to make sure you sell them before that. So as soon as you can afford a player, buy it, let it go up in price, and before the full release is there, make sure you sell it and get your profit. In case you want to hold a little bit longer, I would suggest looking into players that are more than 30,000 coins. That could be meta players, again from Premier League or maybe even French, or Team of the Week 1 players that are more than 30,000 coins. Last year, these players went up until like Monday or Tuesday after the Ultimate Edition release, and that's your sell time. In my opinion, maybe do Monday, because people will always anticipate on last year's stats. So if people see that last year it was on Tuesday, they might be like, okay, I, I want to get out earlier than that. And people start selling earlier than they would usually do. So in my opinion, Monday is the sweet spot to sell those investments. By the way, the first day of the web app, the prices are not on FUDBIN. So also when you're on the web app and you want to check prices, you can't rely on FUDBIN or anything else. You have to check them yourself on the transfer market. So have a few players in mind that you want to invest in and keep checking the price every half an hour. But it's time for the bonus tip for the people who are waiting for the web app to be released. Usually it's very busy around the time it releases and when you're logging in you need a verification code and they usually take ages to get into your email. But there is a way around that and the way to do that is to already log into the website, go to your account settings, go to security tab and there you can change your login method and change it from email to authenticator app or you can just write down a few backup codes so you can use those instead. If anything is unclear or you have any questions about this entire video or something else make sure you let me know in the comments down below and i will make sure i reply on every single one of you hopefully this video helped enjoy fc25 and stay tuned for more videos